Hello and welcome to episode 34. Today we are on a voiceover because apparently the vo uh, audio didn't want to record. I do hope you enjoyed the new intro. Please subscribe and comment and uh, here we are. Anyway, today, as you can see, the voiceover is in full effect because the recording apparently didn't want to allow audio. So today we're going to be playing West Brom and Sunderland, as you can see from my starting screen here. Um, rubbing my nose a little bit. I'm talking a bit more. Didn't realise I was talking this long over. But apparently, as you can see, our form from our last two games um, have been horrendous. Um, I have gone a little bit further. Obviously, I've played these two games today. Here we can see that we've uh, signed a few more players since you last saw us when we played that Bournemouth and Carabao Cup uh, penalty shootout lost to Colchester. Hopefully, he's going to show us the transfers oh yes there we go Tom Young I think was the last transfer that you saw I believe uh, since then we have signed Matthew Holland who shall forever be known as Tom Holland going forward from Sheffield United I apparently have got hiccups while I'm recording this which is extremely unfortunate so I do apologize uh, as you can see here he's got five-star ability I think that's what I'm trying to show you uh, he comes from Sheffield United, as I said, he did a bit of a loan with Accrington back in Sky Bet League too. Well done. And uh, here we have Daniel Pitchford, um, which I'm going to spoil a little bit for you. Uh, he hasn't been playing as much as I'd like him to. Uh, he has actually gone. Uh, I've sent him a message saying he can be recalled in the January transfer window. So, unfortunately, that's what's going to happen with him. Uh, he's just not been playing for us and uh, Jefferson. Jebison, Jebison, who comes into the fray in a minute, has actually been doing all right for us. So I've stuck with him. Uh, Hugo Vogel then is a left back with a five star or four and a half star potential going to this, but um, he's on one and one point one thousand. He's on loan from Norwich as well. This guy is actually pretty good, to be fair. Um, those arrows are showing different, apparently going downhill, but he's actually really, really good. Um, Here's me saying that I'm going to probably play him as an anchor, uh, anchor, no, <laughs> an attacking right winger, but he doesn't never, he doesn't, he doesn't really play there to be fair. He only plays left back or right back, um, and that's pretty much about it on him to be fair. It does say inverted wing back there, I believe, on defend, and and we've made a loan offer there as you can see from Norwich. He paid, they paid a million for him. We said, yeah, we'll have him. Thank you very much. He apparently played last season in the Challenge League in Switzerland. And they paid a mighty, mighty fee for him, whereas we paid nothing because obviously Norwich are an affiliate. <clears throat> Here we are then with the main attraction, Daniel Debison. I did go in for him last minute. I think we managed to get him with about an hour left of the transfer window before it slammed shut. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I did panic a bit. I think we're paying the full £6,000 worth of wages. And I think we're paying a, a fee to actually borrow him. Uh, yeah, there you go, it's 36,000. Oh, is that 56,000? I can't see, it's really small from where I'm sat on the the, uh, the screen here looking at it. Um, very blurry. I should have probably upscaled it a little bit to be fair so I can actually see what I'm talking about. But here we are. I do apologise that my lips are not moving on the screen as to what they are in the uh, screen again. I did say, as I said earlier, I am re-recording because there was no audio so if you could hit that subscribe button that'd be fantastic even drop a like on the video just to help say it's a bit of, a little bit and get things moving um i don't know what i'm jabbering on about here but jebison is really good he's got four and a half star potential look at that underlining stars three and a half star current and i'm stroking my face he's an advanced forward that's where we obviously like to play that's where he does play um that's pretty much about it at this point so if I could hurry up and just move the transfers forward a bit, that'd be great. So it's top for September 2026. Well done, Michael. You can tell the sort of date. Uh, as I said, the form's not been great, but it has sort of clicked lately. Uh, I, I obviously, after playing these games, uh, I've just casually played through. And uh, two seconds, I've got somebody coming downstairs. Don't think it's all that bad, so it should be fine. Okay, anyway. Going into team selection, uh, it did actually put Dallas up front, but I've um, put, swapped him over with uh, Jebison because I wanted to see how he goes in our first game. Um, the fact that it was putting Dallas as our main uh, starting centre forward uh, every time 
I didn't like it for most of you. <coughs> oh, apologize for that little cough there. Unfortunately, I can't edit them out either at this point. So I'm just going straight through, and if I have to edit, then it will cut the uh, screen. That I could mute it. There we go. We're going to mute it. Okay. Ryan Trevi, I think, I think Ryan Trevi's actually done at this point. His um, his stats are sort of saying he's probably not quite championship level, which is unfortunate. Tom Holland here, or Matthew Holland, whatever you want to call him. I prefer Tom. He's all right, he's doing okay. Obviously we're just setting up the personalized sort of functions for each of these players that have just come in. Uh, Ronnie Stutter, I think I've put him out for load. And Golden, as I said, he's already he's already been sold um, at this point. He's just waiting to be moved on. But Ronnie Stutter, he's just playing a couple of these games, I believe. Uh, I think in the friendlies, we had him up front for a couple of them. I mean, he's done all right, to be fair. Um, but he has he has gone out on loan at this point in real time. <coughs> he has gone out on loan. As I said. Um, so we're talking about something. I can't see what the text says, so I do apologise. Uh, Michael Golden. There you go. So that's the same. Basically, he's a breakthrough prospect. He's on one point six phase, and I think he's twenty years old. He's actually got loads of um, thingy, but it's going to drop with wage budget, so I don't mind. Overall balance is uh, just over two million. Hopefully, being in championship, that will drop that down eventually. But constantly having to worry about um, our stadium. Bearing in mind, I think it's due to be built at the end of this season. So we've been moving into, I think it's an eleven thousand seats as opposed to the six thousand that we're currently in. Only three thousand seats, and uh, yeah. So here's Jefferson's first effort with Powell. Powell hits the post. And uh, goes out, unfortunately. Black fade to the next uh, highlight. <coughs> West Brom pick it up. And it's uh, a counter attack, it would seem. And they have a shot. Ooh. That was lucky, that was lucky. So, <coughs> we have a throw into Powell. Powell comes in. Powell blasts! It's a goal. Come on. Get in. I love the fact I've got this energy, especially knowing what the outcome was. But I've still got to recreate the effort and the fun that I had when I was doing this. Anyway, corner for West Brom and nothing comes of it. It's really strange making these hand movements while I'm here. And they're obviously not matching up to anything that's on the screen. I diverge. Don't worry about it. Anyway, blasted up the uh, blasted up the field by Conquo. Uh, I think at this point I just thought, what's he doing? Crazy sausage. But then they blast it back down. So I was like, clearly it's a thing that we do in the championship. So Conquo then, out from the back, playing it through our players through the centre there. Deli Bashuru, to Chapman, to Power, I can just about make out these names. And uh, that's a pretty tame effort if I'm honest and easy enough for the keeper there to sort of grab a black fade to the half time whistle the next game is awesome because the first half there's absolutely no highlights whatsoever so you'll have fun with that don't worry I've edited that out so don't worry about it at this point obviously I'm just editing over it's a voiceover from the final edit I guess so I'm just going with it hopefully there's enough voice in it for the rest here I'm just making a few substitutions um, <clears throat> looks like Tom Young's going to come up for Candy. A Candy's a, a great little player, actually, to be fair. Uh, well, I think we made about three or four changes there, to be fair. I just didn't want you watching the rest of them because, honestly, it took about five minutes for me to make them changes, I think. Uh, hence why it's now 66 minutes. Uh, so we've got West Brom on the break here, then. We managed to intercept it rather neatly and pretty easily, to be honest. Then. Ro uh, Young with a pass to Powell Powell. As a shot, and unfortunately, keep it just, just enough to keep it out for a corner. Powell then with the corner for Solly or Morse. It's an in swinger. Oh, 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 I forgot to show you the. Oh, no, it's on the next episode, never mind. Uh, the second goal that was scored against Lucid in Town. Oh, my God. Jefferson, fantastic. Anyway, I was really surprised here when we got the penalty, especially against West Brom. I thought, this is crazy. And I was like, yes, he scored 2 0. I was like, oh, Doug wins time wasting mode right now. Because <laughs> obviously it's only 2 0. Um, but yeah, there you go. So I was like, oh, yeah, let's start time wasting. But that is like 86, 87, so I did delay quite a bit to be fair. So West Brom with their free kick here. 
and it goes just over the crossbar there. Uh, pretty tame effort to be honest with you, but I'll take it. It is what it is, and that's all well and good. I'm going to do a test record for the next one just to make sure that the audio does work. I've actually got a new setup for OBS as well now. Uh, hope you like the new intro. You'll have to let me know if you actually like it. Uh, if you do like it, please drop a like. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Hope you've got. If you have got this far into the video, please drop a, a sub as well. That'd be fantastic. And feel free to leave a comment. I do. I do like to uh, reply to them. I do like seeing the comments. I don't see many. A bit of interaction. Any interactions actually kind of nice to be fair. Anyhow. We have got West Brom on the counter going out to the very corner of that corner flag. Holland picks it up. He's intercepted very easily, which is concerning in this matter at this point. I was very concerned. But then this sort of like tic tac toe between the two sets of players was quite uh, in the abundance there, as you saw at the end. Anyway, we won 2 0, and that was a fantastic, fantastic performance from our boys there. Don't mind me, I'm just going to have a quick sip of my water. As you can see, that takes us five games played, four points. Obviously, that's just behind the one point per game played sort of ratio that I want to be at, but this is anyway. The next game, Sunderland, boards expecting a draw, supporters expecting a draw as well. Currently, six games played, sorry, four points. Moving into the next game against Sunderland. I think we are at home as well, so that's always good. So now it's automatically put Jevison at front, which is fantastic for me in my perspective. Uh, perspective? In my opinion, sorry. I do apologise. Okay, so I'm making some talk about how good these players are or what this is doing with Michael Golden. I don't think anybody cares at this point so I've said the man's gone he really didn't want to stay so I don't really care about him at this point. Anyhow as I said there was literally zero highlights up until half time and there you go that was that. I just cut the whole first half out because there was zero highlights which was um, unfortunate to be honest with you. So I got to a point I was like right I need to make a substitution just to try and get highlights out of it because I wasn't really happy with it, to be fair. So Andrew Dallas comes on for the left winger. Uh, Owen Morgan comes on in the uh, advanced forward role. Tom Young is looking pretty good. His stats are improving slightly, so we're just going to ignore him. And then uh, we're going to call it a day, and Jefferson makes a shot and is saved. But at least it was a highlight. And I can't quote them. To somebody that I can't see from where I'm sitting. Uh, Powell picks it up. It's out to Chapman. Chapman through to Powell. Powell puts it in for Morgan. And Morgan scores. Yes, boy. Happy days. And we scored. Uh, so, yeah, that was a great goal. Uh, apologies for that. Um, I had to go and uh, score take my daughter because apparently my son is playing up in his bedroom. Yeah, parenthood, fun, have kids. Anyway, moving on, we are going into full on time wasted mode here because it's Sunderland. I've just just about beat West Brom and uh, I don't think my luck's going to push over to beating Sunderland so I'll definitely put the time wasting on to try and get some points if I'm honest. And there we go. Sunderland intercept rather easily and unfortunately they score fortunately for them they do manage to grab a goal it's uh, currently 1-1 one, one. we've got 10 minutes to push I'm trying to wait to take that time waste enough because obviously I don't want to time waste at this point in time but uh, it's not really giving me the option and I don't think it's going to let me we've got 4 minutes to play I don't think it's even worth doing at this point I don't think and uh, I think that's it for that. So that brings us up to 1-1 one, one for that. So that's one point. We'll take it. This is what it is. I sympathise with the team because, yeah, we should have maybe won. We were leading most of the games. But there we go. Six points from seven games. Just above the relegation zone. I don't care. It is what it is. Right, so join us in the next episode then, which is going to be Southampton and Middlesbrough. I think we're going to play the last couple of games per month. Minus maybe. What's that month there? November, because that's a really short month, I don't know if I want to play that short a month, so we might skip over November, 
and come back maybe for the Coventry Birmingham sort of games for the start to the period of there. And that's going to be it for now, I think. So if you've enjoyed that, please smash that like button, subscribe, comment, and leave a like, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.